in example 5-5, we are required to determine the properties of steam. And in this case, the steam we are told is at 15 bar absolute and temperature 300 degrees. And we will look at the superheated tables. We now are on the relevant page 7, if you refer to your steam tables. And on the Y or vertical axis or column, we get the pressure in bar. The X gives us the temperature in degree centigrade. In particular, we are interested in 15 bar and we are looking at 300. So the intersection will give us the cell. The cell at 300 will be highlighted thus. We are now able to extract out the data and complete the exercise. So let's get back to our example. So now at 15 bar and 300 degrees, we have the volume 0.1697 cubic meters per kilogram. So our volume capital V, it happens that we are interested in one kilogram will also be 0 0.1697 cubic meters. Extracting the data for enthalpy, we copy out 3039 kilojoules. And internal energy Notice both H and U are capital because we are thinking of one kilogram. We are told that it's one kilogram. So our small U and our small H will be the same as the capital U and the capital H. And this gives us our answer. Now, Let's look at 5-7. Again, we are dealing with steam. 70 bar absolute. Here we are given the specific enthalpy of 3,158 kilojoules per kilogram. We are told to determine the degree of superheat. So let's check it out. 70 bar. We use the same page 7 and if we look at the lowest row, we are at 70 bar. So let's highlight it. Now the important thing is we are not told what temperature and we have to figure out what temperature it is. Remember, in the sum, we are told that we have to have an enthalpy of 3,158. So if we scan very carefully, bingo, we find that at the temperature 400, we are indeed having an enthalpy of what we want, that is 3158. Let's highlight that. We also know that at saturation conditions, the enthalpy is 2772. So clearly our steam is at superheated condition. 
we also know the saturation temperature in the brackets here is 285.8 so the degree of superheat is obtained by subtracting 400 away we take away 285.8 uh, from 400 so let's get back to our calculations okay so what we are given is indicated here and from the steam tables we have found that the temperature is 400 degrees when the enthalpy is 3158 so from that we can determine the degree of superheat because at saturation conditions we know the saturation temperature which we will write now Ts is in fact equal to 285.8 degrees centigrade so degree of superheat is simply 400 take away 285.8 and this gives us 114.2 degrees